Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kegem. In today's video, we need to talk about the crazy airplane shaped bag from LV. And we also need to talk about the LV watercolor collection that has obviously dropped and it's available. I am going to like go through some of my favorite pieces from the collection and then we'll talk about the airplane bag at the end. <laughs> That airplane bag is ridiculous when you talk about it. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you like this video, um, it would just be an honor for you to be here, comment and like, and to have you as part of the team. So let me know if you're new here in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, you guys. So the watercolor collection is actually a men's summer capsule collection. I think there's a lot of confusion around this collection. So I was reading the official like content about this collection. It is a men's capsule collection for summer only. It is a capsule collection. Normally in the fashion world, if something is a capsule collection, it means it's something that they're trying out. They want to see if it's going to succeed. I think that the watercolor collection is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. I think this is beautiful for the lads. I think this is masculine. It's so vibrant, yet extremely masculine at the same time. It's gorgeous. I love it. I also think that there's some unisex pieces that women could wear as well. So I want to review them. So yeah, the first piece I want to review is the Zippy Wallet. I don't have a price on this because I was looking at the EU side. I think this Zippy Wallet is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I was like, oh my God, this, this wallet would look so good in one of my handbags. But then I was like, ooh, I don't know about the white parts of the wallet and the color transfer, but I do really like this one. I think, um, and also, as you know, a lot of these pieces are unavailable, honey, <laughs> okay? Some of them are available, so you need to check the site every single day because two days ago, some pieces were, un were unavailable and now pieces are available. So I'll tell you like my experiences as we go through the video. So the Zippy Wallet, definitely love that one. The next favorite of mine is this absolutely gorgeous watercolor sweatshirt. I think this is one of the dopest pieces in the collection. By the way, 21 Savage, who is a American rap artist, he is like the model for the campaign of this collection, which was obviously designed by Virgil Abloh. Virgil is a very controversial um, person in the fashion industry, but I do think he did a fantastic job with this capsule collection. This sweatshirt is just gorgeous. It is phenomenal. I do think that um, you could probably wear this as a woman. It's obviously cut in a, it looks kind of oversized from what I was looking at online. It does look quite oversized. Um, I, I think I have a video of how this looks. I don't like how they styled it on the model on the LV site. I do think that this would look great on a man. I think it would look great on a woman. You probably just need to get it maybe tailored in here a little bit and maybe just kind of cut down a little bit. If you go to a good tailor, they could know what to do. I love this piece. I think it's beautiful. I think it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. And I think it's a hundred percent worth the money. The next piece that I think is phenomenal from this collection is the pochette voyage. This is obviously meant to be kind of like a men's like toiletry bag. This thing is a popping, okay? I don't know why they didn't make a woman's wear version of this capsule collection. I love this. I think it's great. I think it's very expensive, honey, okay? <laughs> You'll be spending a lot of money for this pochette. Um, all the prices are down below, but I do think it is just so cute. This was, this was pressed another one of my personal favorites along with the sweatshirt when I was looking at the pictures online. There are tons of other um, looks from this collection. There are a few that are a bit like, ooh, I don't know about that. But in general, I think that this was very forward thinking. I think it was so vibrant with the colors, but still very masculine and still quite raw and it still had that edge to it. Um, I think that this is a phenomenal move that LV did. Something else I really like about this collection um, even though the colors were very vibrant, I love how they used a lot of dark colors. I think a lot of men would be interested in shopping at luxury brands, like more men than, than are currently shopping at luxury brands. But I do think that men do want to see those like dark, um, very intense colors that are not as, not as pale as colors that you see in the women's wear collections. And I do think we see that before, as I mentioned with the bandoulier, like that beautiful dark navy, like almost a chocolatey kind of navy blue. I think that's the kind of thing that the lads want to see. I And I can tell because <laughs> they're impossible to get now, all of the sort of darker colors in this watercolor collection. I just think it's so beautiful, I'm really, really obsessed. Um, a good example of this is this wallet here. 
this wallet is not available <laughs> it's gorgeous um i think this one is 815 dollars. i haven't linked it below i think this wallet is just absolutely beautiful i actually sent this to my husband i was like what do you think of this and he's like oh i really really like that and he's like that's really nice um is there a darker color <laughs> I was like, there's this one, but I was looking for a sort of black version of that as well on the LV side for him. What do you guys think of the watercolor collection? Um, I know that there's some, there've been some unboxings by some female YouTubers from the watercolor collection. I think there are a lot of wearable pieces from this collection. Um, some of the press a porte is like ten thousand dollars. Like there's this blue um, shirt, and that one is like ten. I think it's like nine thousand dollars and some change. So it's a very expensive collection. But I think it's very beautiful. Um, maybe they're trying to figure out if there's enough interest from men for summer pieces. It should be interesting. This seems to be the me the men's version to mirror the by the pool collection for us i'm very curious to know what you guys think of this collection so please make sure you like comment share and subscribe and yeah tell me what you think do you think it's wearable do you think it's naff what do you think about it so make sure you tell me in the comments <laughs> you guys this airplane bag <laughs> LV love doing things for hype and attention because there's no way anyone with their mind, okay, would purchase this thing. This airplane bag has like gone viral. Lots of people are talking about it. So I thought I should like bring it up to you guys. We haven't heard about the ridiculous airplane bag. As I said, it's fairly self-explanatory. It's a handbag that's shaped as an airplane. Apparently it's going for $39,000. Crazy. <laughs> to know what you think of the airplane shake bag i think it's completely insane i think lv do this like to get attention and they do these stunts to like get attention from us and it is working because i'm obviously talking about it i thought you guys would be interested to know guys i'd love to know what you think of the lv water collection <laughs> water collection the lv watercolor collection and the airplane shake bag i really need to know your opinions i also have a bonus video for you guys tomorrow on friday and i have video on saturday i hope i'm not spamming you if you really like my videos or you're vibing what I'm doing, please make sure you like and subscribe. I was at the office today at work and I wasn't wearing this wig. I was wearing my blonde wig. And um, yesterday was like a public holiday in Tanzania. So my employees were like, you know, they were just talking about what they're doing on the weekend. I was like, what are you guys doing? They're like, oh yeah, we're all going out, you know, for drinks and stuff. They're, they're much younger than me. They're in their twenties. And I was just like remembering life when I was in my twenties. I was so carefree and I was so like, yeah, I'm that chick, I'm that bee. And now I'm like going to be 35 <laughs> this month. Life is so different. I have, you know, like responsibilities. I have things I need to pay for. I have my business. I have things that are my responsibility. It's so different when you're older. What do you guys think about that? Like when your responsibilities and things change as you get older? Let me know in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next video.